because if you sleep, mama. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have a doctor's appointment. I've been waiting on this day, you guys. I'm finally gonna get a breast reduction. If you have been following me for a while, then you know that I have been talking about this my entire pregnancy, like even before, like, or if you just know me personally, you know like just how much I've been wanting this. Like, oh my gosh and the day is finally here i have my first appointment it's a consult appointment not really sure what's going to be talked about in today's appointment and so that's why i'm going to just record and bring you guys with me like this is a big moment for me like i'm super excited so before we actually get into this video make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit that post notification bell and i'm actually running a little bit late so i'm gonna just see you guys when we get there let's go ahead and get into it all right, you guys, so I am in the room right now. The nurse that went ahead and took my vitals, took my weight, and she told me to go ahead and watch this 15 minute video. This is just an informational video. This video pretty much is explaining like the different cuts and um, surgeries that can happen and just showing me the different options. I had the ring baby girl with me, y'all. No, I'm feeding you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Y'all just watching this video like this whole procedure is just crazy like they're talking about removing the nipple and having to place it back on there like that is wild for real. All right, you guys, so I just finished watching the video. It's over with. Um, I need to undress and put on my gown because the doctor is gonna come in and just examine my chest area, examine my boobs, you know, all that good stuff. And she's about to throw a fit, and Lord knows why, because you are eating, like, I wish I can show y'all, but I ain't trying to have my boobs out there like that. <laughs> but yeah, the gown is over there on that seat. Let me finish this and I'll be back. All right, you guys. So I'm going to put on my little gown. I mean, oh, my top, I guess. I thought this was like a, a gown gown, y'all. This is a top. Okay, I'm about to put that on. All right. Get my gown on. Ivani's throwing a fit again. I don't know why I keep calling this thing a gown. It's a whole shirt. But yeah, these boobs is boobing. She's back on my boob. I look, look at look, look, look how she is. Like she's just covering up. Like, <laughs> but yeah, she's back on the boob because she wasn't finished, and I made her upset. So yeah, here is the room. No, it's a nice little small room. Just waiting on the doctor. All right, y'all. So it's been like fifteen minutes in. She won't let up. She done now. I'm about to go ahead and um, put her back in her little car seat. And the doctor should be in here soon. The nurse had came in here a little bit ago just to check on me, see what I was doing. She saw that I was breastfeeding. So they're gonna be here in a little bit. First. <laughs> all right any questions on this video before well so there are different ways to do the mm -hmm. okay um yes and no it all involves surgery and a scar okay. uh, some of the things are very similar the technique may vary a little bit but um 
I don't know that most people would notice a big difference based on technique. Okay. So I guess, what, is there a reason you're concerned about the different ways or was there a preference? So if I, cause I know when dinner. Jo, yeah. Okay, yeah, when she was asking me questions, um, she asked if I plan on having children. So like, if I, I told her no, cause I but don't know. You never but know. you never know. Right. So like for the future, if I was to get pregnant and have a child and planned on like breastfeeding, is there, does it matter which way you guys? Excellent question. And unfortunately, the answer is no. not clear cut. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, it isn't. I can't tell you 100%. So um, there's not a lot of good information because there aren't as many people that have breast reductions prior to a pregnancy that we can follow and study. Having said that, younger patients who might want um, to have uh, future pregnancies and be able to breastfeed, I have done the more traditional inferior pedicle technique to try, because um, the data we do have, that seems to be the one where you have a better chance of breastfeeding mm -hmm. than some of the other ones. But even with that, it may be no, you won't be able to breastfeed. Mm -hmm. So that's the best answer I can give you. So not a lot went on today for this appointment. She didn't take any pictures or anything like that. She didn't do much because I'm still nursing. I'm still pumping. And my boobs are just so big right now because I have a lot of milk in them. And so she didn't do much because she's like, by the time you come back, they're gonna be smaller. I need to be done breastfeeding and nursing. That's the same thing. I need to be done nursing and pumping about three to five six months before i actually get this breast reduction and go into surgery and things like that i just need to not be producing no type of milk so baby's gonna be a good what she's almost two months now september october november december she'll be a good five months and I'm pumping a lot of milk, y'all. I have to show y'all my milk supply. And so I should be good to be able to still provide her some breast milk because I know that's important. I had planned on breastfeeding until she was about six months anyway. And so I'm going to, for now on, continue to just pump, 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 pump and produce as much milk as I can so that I can still provide her um, some breast milk. I've been waiting for this breast reduction because it's been causing a lot of pain right here, back there, just a lot of pain. And they're just too big. Like she had um, measured my boobs. She was like, oh yeah, these are heavy. <laughs> like, yeah, sis, they heavy. I'm doing a lot of talking. Let me go ahead and change. So my camera ended up cutting off on me. It's a new day and everything and so I wanted to actually just finish off this video because one thing that I noticed that I did not discuss in this video was my actual bra size and what size that I plan on going down to. So before I got pregnant, I was probably like a double D, triple D, um, somewhere in between there because like I really didn't know. Like I haven't got checked to see what size cup I was in a very long time. And so um, for a long time, I was a double D, but I knew that my boobs had got bigger. And so um, a triple D is where I feel like, you know, where I was. But right now that I am pumping, I am um, breastfeeding, I feel like I am a size F, maybe even bigger. And so during the appointment, the doctor had asked me what size do I plan on going down to. She said that she can either get me down to a, a cup size B or C. And I told her, I want to get down to a size B. The smallest I can get, the better for me. I can't handle all this weight up here. And so, um, yeah, I'm going down to a cup size B. If that's what she can do, I'll be so happy, y'all. That's pretty much it. My next video on this journey, on this breast reduction journey, wouldn't be up until a couple months. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next video. Thank you.